Hey Liz, this is Frank from Max Digital, and as I mentioned, I wanted to shoot you over this quick video with some specific things that you guys can do uh, to bring in more business just by better utilizing uh, your online presence. So, I since you are a CPA in the Wilmington area, I ran a Google search on CPA Wilmington NC, and here's the search results that come up. And I noticed that you don't have a website, so uh, you're not going to come up down in the bottom section, which is known as the organic section. Uh, but it's super critical if you are looking to grow your business uh, in the Wilmington area that you at least try to get into this map pack. Uh, so there's a couple things you need to do to do that. And so one is to just optimize your Google business profile, which means fill out the profile in its entirety. You know, continue to get customer reviews and respond to those as well as uploading uh, pictures to the site regularly. And you want to have more pictures than these guys have and more reviews ultimately is what you want to try to do is get more than these guys. Um, but the most important thing that you really need to do is um, Google is a popularity contest. So they are going to be looking continually to see which businesses are listed the most frequently online. So they'll, they send the web crawlers out and they're looking to see, you know, which CPA in Wilmington NC is, you know, the most frequently mentioned across the Internet. And so that's who gets into the spot. And so the way companies do this is they register their business in uh, more online directories, or as many online directories as they can. So definitely you would want to beat uh, these guys in terms of the number of directories that you're in. There's thousands of directories out there like Yelp.com, Angie's List, and so forth. Uh, many of them are free to join. It just takes time to go out to each of those directories and enter in your name, address, and phone number. And you'd want to do that consistently in exactly the same way it's you got it set up and registered with Google in your Google Business Profile. So um, you don't want to confuse Google, so you got to make sure it's, it's consistently and they see you all, all of those mentions across the Internet, all as belonging to one company. And so that's how you can beat them. You know, 30 to 40 percent of the traffic is going to go to the businesses that are listed in this section here. The next thing I did want to talk to you, I know you don't have a website, but um, I just wanted to show you here like the because Adam Shea is listed at the top of the organic section and in the map pack, I just wanted to show you the amount of volume that he's getting to participate in. So this is a tool that I use. It's called Arifs. You can see up here, uh, and it just gives me some analytics about um, you know keywords that are being searched each month. And so you can see here for the Wilmington area for your type of business, these are some of the highest uh, search terms um, or phrases and the way that people are searching for them in your area. So. You can see here that this is the, the volume column tells you how many times per month each of these search uh, or each of these keyword phrases is being searched for. So, you know, the one thing you could do is set up a website. It doesn't have to be a huge website. Um, if you're only working in the Wellington area, uh, providing CPA services, you know, you wouldn't need a large website uh, to to do it, and you can in, pretty inexpensively. Um, beat out this competition because their site isn't that great. Let me just show you what I'm talking about here. To rank high in this organic section down below the map pack, there's two things you need to be concerned about. One is the, the strength of your content, and second is your backlinks profile. So just looking at your competitor, Adam Shea, who's the number one uh, website here, you know, when I scroll down and look at this, it looks like a professional website. It really looks really nice. But it's, it's got about half of the content that Google is looking for for when they determine who's an, actually an expert in the niche or who should be the authoritative site. So they're looking for 1,500 to 2,000 words on the home page, and these guys have about 750. So it's an opportunity for somebody to come in, create a fairly inexpensive website, uh, and be able to participate in, in all that traffic that I was just showing you. Again, you know, 350 searches a month just on that top term and then you got these other ones here so over 500 times a month people are searching for these five different or five or six different keyword phrases so the key is having that having those website or having your website set up so that you got a lot of content on the page and not only just is it can't just be random content it's got to be inclusive of these uh keyword phrases the, the the top ranking ones or top most frequently searched terms is what you want frequently embedded into your content. And so that enables Google to match up your content with the search terms. And, and that's that's really the number one thing that you would want to be concerned about. But then I just wanted to show you just a couple other things. So then as it relates to your backlinks, 
Backlinks are just links from one site over to your site and they give legitimacy to your site in Google's eyes because they act as an endorsement of your site. So again, with Google being a popularity contest, you want to have more backlinks from more unique referring domains than your competitor has. This guy's got 4,000 backlinks, but only 122 unique referring domains. So that would not be that difficult to beat. In fact, the tool here says that uh, it's only a, the KD is the difficulty that it would take to rank for these terms. And so, you know, a 10 and below is considered pretty easy. So it would not take very long for you to, uh, or very much effort and resources to get 122 backlinks uh, or referring domains linked over to your site. We know that the other thing I wanted to mention was if you're going to decide to do that, you're going to want to go and get uh, good backlinks, quality backlinks. Some sites that you could be linked to are more spammy in nature and some are more authoritative. You want to link to the authoritative sites and the way to do that is to go out to your competitors, click on this referring domain number, see what sites they're linked to, and look at the DR score for each of them. So Google gives a DR and a UR score to each of the sites. The DR score is the trust score. So if you're pulling DR scores that are trying to link up to sites that have higher DR scores, like 30 and above, those are considered strong sites. You know, if you pull, if you do that, if you go out, first of all, if you click on it, you're going to see all the sites, and the sites are going to be mostly online directories. There'll be some blog posts, perhaps. Um, and, but you can go out to those directories, register your sites, or register your name on those sites, and you're going to only want to do that for the ones with the higher DR scores. So if you do that, you get the backlinks, you build up your content, have more content than Adam Shea has, and build in those uh, local buyer intent keyword phrases such as these. These are the exact ones because you can see here, this is where the volume is. You do that so Google can match up your content with the search term. That's going to make it so that you can easily get to the top of the um uh, organic listings and like I said I already talked to you about how to get into the map pack if you do that that's going to bring in a lot of additional business if you are looking to grow so hopefully that was helpful if you wouldn't mind just leaving a uh, reply to my email just to let me know if it was helpful I'd greatly appreciate that so I can continue to add value to small businesses thanks and I look forward to hearing from you and have a great day